Hi, thanks for tuning in. My name is Walt Klein. This is my colleague Ken Martin. And together, we've been in business for well over 30 years. And experience-wise, about 60 years. Now, about 15 years ago, that's when we started seeing a lot of evidence of bed bugs. And you know, about 15 years ago, we wouldn't be given a video like this. There really wasn't a need for it. Nobody had bed bugs, and the only thing we knew about them was they were in a nursery rhyme. Yeah. Now, we, we find that uh, most of the time there's a big infestation in California, New York, Ohio, Atlanta. Just about every major city now has bed bugs. And what we do when people call us, we go over, first of all, we, we stay away from the products right off the bat. We tell them what's involved. Now, what's involved in bed bug control is whether you have a company do the extermination or you do it yourself, you're going to have to do a few things like inspection. It's a huge part of it. If you don't know where the bed bugs are, you're really not going to know where to treat and you don't know the extent of the infestation. So you've got to establish that. So what do you need to do an inspection? You need a flashlight. You're going to be looking. I always like, Ken, I always like your rule on the 95-5. Yeah, there's a, there's a rule that uh, has been going around the, the pest control industry for a while now. It's called the 95-5 rule, and it basically says that 95% of the bed bugs are within five feet of the bed. Uh, and, and that doesn't that sounds like a small area, but when you start uh, really looking at that, you've got five feet this way and five feet that way, you've got a pretty big area that the bed bugs can be in. So it's important to, uh, to inspect that area thoroughly, and uh, you know, that's a, just a good starting point right there to determine if you have them or not. And the, 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 the following thing that we, of course, you need that flashlight. You're looking your inspection. And most everybody, unless it's a motel, and even a motel has some clutter, but most everybody has clutter in their house. Some have more. Now, we're not talking about trash, though. I mean, clutter is anything from electronics to books. Stuffed animals. Yeah. Uh, there's a lot of things that people keep around the room, and those are all kind of in your way when you're trying to search for bed bugs. You've really got to, you know, move that stuff and get it situated so that you can inspect thoroughly. I, I'd like to give a little example of some clutter that I have here. Um, uh, this is uh, some sort of frame. And look at this. Where did this clutter come from, Walt? This <laughs> came from my house, actually. Oh, okay. Now, if you look in something like that, uh, bed bugs could easily crawl in there. The, the saying is if, if bed bugs can slide into any crack that a business card can slide into, and that certainly is a large enough crack, so they can get in there. Uh, electronics. This is uh, some sort of radio type thing, and you could climb in these holes back here. So clutter management. Now, what do you do with the clutter? Well, you. There's a lot of ways to handle clutter. Mm -hmm. um, some people prefer to bag the clutter, put it in a bag and isolate it. And if it's something that you want to hang on to but you don't use very often, um, you can put it in a bag and isolate it um, six months. Some people say as long as a year. I think six months is pretty much you know, the rule oh, for yeah. me though. I think that'll, that'll take care of everything. Second thing you could do is throw it out. That's a big one right there. Yeah. Uh, unfortunately, in my house, we're pack rats. Nobody wants to throw anything away. So. Um, that brings us to option number three. Which, which would be treat, treat the clutter somehow. Now there's right. a couple ways you can treat clutter. Uh, the most common way is Nuvon strips. And in our tape that, you're gonna, that you can click on, we're going to talk about some of the accessories that we have, like Nuvon strips. Uh, and we'll demonstrate how to use that. Uh, but that's all we have for the inspection and clutter management. Uh, we're going to start now talking about some products. So you've got bed bugs now, and one of the, um, the, the first questions we get asked is, what do I use to get rid of the bed bugs? Um, there's a million chemicals out there you can choose from, and uh, it can get kind of confusing. Um, Walt and I have pretty much been adamant over the years that there are basically three things that you have to have to deal with bed bugs. Um, you're going to have to have a concentrate that you mix with water and spray. You're going to need a powder um, that you put on dry and then you're going to need an aerosol. And uh, we've got some of these products here. We're going to kind of show you a few of these things. Uh, keep in mind when we're showing you these that this is not all we have off to offer. There are a lot of products there. 
um, and it can get kind of confusing. So if there's any questions that you have, we've got an 800 mm -hmm. number. They can call and talk to us. Um, that's what we do all day. We're on the phone talking to customers, uh, you know, all day long. Yeah, and I'd like to point out every one of the kits that we have has has one product in there that's common to all of them, and that would be a dust. This is called Cymexa dust, and that's silica gel. It's not a gel; it's silicates. And what the silica gel does is it. If an insect crawls through it, not just a bed bug, because it's an excellent roach killer or any mm -hmm. kind of insect killer. If an insect crawls through this, you get it on them and it desiccates them, dries them up, it's very drying. And what you want to do with this is put it in all the cracks and crevices. It is a dust, so a dust can be a little bit messy, so you don't want to see it. It goes into cracks. Now to get it into cracks, switch plates, Back behind wall boards, we use a duster. This is a very common duster. It's called a bellows duster. You fill it up about halfway and push it down. Every time you push it up and down, the dust will come out. Another real key thing I really like, that's a little bit less messy, would be a makeup brush. Now what you can do with the makeup brush is you get a cup like this and you put the dust in there and you can see how that attaches to that. And literally you paint that along the seams like the mattress and box springs. And now I'd like to talk about a little bit later about box springs and mattress because we prefer mattress encasements and that will be it later in our accessory video. But that is a common. Now Ken likes the dust, and he also likes the aerosol. Can you explain I, a little bit on the aerosols? I tend to be more of an aerosol guy when it comes to the cracks and crevices. I, I just, it's kind of the way I, I started in the pest control business, and I'm, I'm more comfortable with those. Um, we carry a number of different products. Um, uh, this is a tempered ready spray aerosol. Um, it's a very good product, and it is uh, the featured aerosol in most of our bed bug kits that we sell. Um, what I like about aerosols is the straw. This little straw, I don't know if you can guys can see this on the video, but it is very thin and you're going to get into some cracks and crevices with this thing that there's, you're just not going to get into with a concentrate and it may be hard to get in with the dust. So there's a place for the dust, there's a place for the aerosols when you do this. We've got a few different aerosols here that are really very similar. Uh, Bedlam Plus is another one. We're, you know, we're real big on that as well. It works well. Comes with the same crack and crevice straw. So those are great products. We've got the uh, Accentria line. That's in our organic uh, one. Well, the the Accentria is in our organic bed bug kit that we have. It's a good contact killer uh, and uh, it's, it's, it's a really effective product on there and if people are trying to stay green, this is a good one to go with. And we said, there's just a few of these. Yeah, we, and I'll point out too, is it, just because it's green doesn't mean it doesn't work. I mean, it, it works. Yeah. As long as you got that Cymexa dust and, mm -hmm. and a good, good contact kill, you'll, you'll get good success on there. Uh, and I, I didn't mention, but you know, the nice thing about this Cymexa dust, mm -hmm. I don't know if you can see it, but you can bring it up on our label. It can work up to 10 years. They, they, say, if, they say if it's undisturbed, it'll last up to 10 years. And I, even if you're doubting Thomas, I, I, I really think this stuff is going to last five years or better anyway, as long as it doesn't get wet. Yeah, or so, unless you have a lot of insects that actually remove the the because right. remember what I'm saying it attaches to them right now the uh, the other thing about the Cymexa that's really nice is it's a green product also that's not Cymexa is not poisonous it no. kills through dehydration Just, so if you get it on your hands it'll mm -hmm. actually dry your hands up right but you can put lotion on that brings me to another point uh, one of the things we see a lot with people is they uh, people have this concept they want to spray some insecticide around their bed and just wait for the bed bugs to walk through it and that's going to kill them. Um, but it doesn't really work that way. Um, the, the insects, yeah. uh, the way their, uh, their foot is shaped has a lot to do with how they're going to pick up insecticides. And for instance, a cockroach has got a pretty wide pad on the bottom of its foot. When it walks across a treated surface, it picks up that insecticide real readily. Uh, a, a bed bug has got a small point, like a pinpoint sized little part of its foot that touches the ground. It doesn't pick up a lot of insecticide. So spraying an area and waiting for bed bugs to walk through it to pick up the insecticide is not going to get I, rid of I bed bugs. I believe they did that test in the University of Kentucky. They decided that the, they could tell that was what's going on. Right. There. It's very interesting. So, These are all liquid concentrates, and heck, they all work. But like Ken said, you, 
You just can't put a barrier around the bed. Right. It just doesn't work that way. Right. And so that's the, the, the big thing we try and get across to people. You hear us preaching cracks and crevices. Bed bugs like to get into cracks and crevices. And if you've treated the cracks and crevices, the bed bugs are wedging themselves into it. The chemical is getting all over their body, not just on their feet. So that's how you're going to kill them. And, and I'd like to point out there might be one kit that's more appealing to you or you might need some some suggestions, well feel free to call us. We have an 800 number and unlike uh, a lot of companies that don't want to talk, well that's all we do. We talk to customers all day long. And we're going to try to get you over to our accessory video because we got a lot more to talk about that you can use with bed bugs. And thank you very much for tuning in.